Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to keep your hamster warm in the winter. So now that it is winter time, it is important to keep our hamster warm because many things can happen to them that are not good. <laughs> things like torpor can happen. Torpor is when an animal puts themselves in a very deep sleep to conserve energy and to keep warm so that they don't freeze and die. <laughs> now, unfortunately, hamsters in captivity cannot survive torpor unless you catch it soon enough. But today we are going to be talking about how to revive a hamster from torpor if you catch it soon enough and how to keep them warm. So to prevent torpor from happening, you need to keep your hamster warm in different ways. There are different ways. You can do one of these ways or you can do all of them. Number one, be sure to provide lots of things in the cage to keep your hamster warm, such as insulated hideouts like this that have very thick walls. Make sure that your hamster is able to sleep in it. And I have two in the cage right now. Also be sure to provide lots of paper bedding. Don't use any cotton fluff nesting or bamboo. Use unscented paper bedding. This right here is KT Clean and Cozy. If you already use paper bedding, just put more in the cage. And if you don't use paper bedding already and you use aspen hemp or anything like that, just make sure that you put enough in the cage for them to pouch and snuggle in. These two things keep a hamster insulated during the cold and they can conserve body heat better. Also, if you don't think that that's enough, what you can do is you can get a space heater. Now be careful with space heaters because space heaters can catch things on fire. <laughs> Make sure that it's only on at a certain temperature. If it is not one of those space heaters that cut on at a certain temperature, just turn it off and on about a couple times of the day just so that it doesn't get too hot in the room. What you can also do is you can take a thick blanket and put it around the back of the cage, covering everything except the top and the front. This is to insulate the hamster's enclosure better. Now we are going to talk about how to get an animal out of torpor. So to find out if your hamster is in torpor, they shouldn't be a little statue, they should be very movable. And you should be able to place your thumb on their chest and be able to feel their heartbeat. As well, if you take a spoon and put it next to their muzzle, if condensation appears, that means that they are in torpor and they are still alive. So once you have discovered if your hamster is in torpor, take them, cup your hands, put them next to your chest, or somewhere that is warm, like a heating pad with a blanket on top of it, and warm them up. Don't warm them up too much. That'll put them into shock and they'll die. <laughs> Just warm them up slowly, and once they will wake up, they will be kind of wiggly, and they'll look around and they'll kind of like topple over and stuff but offer them food and water and treats and they will be revived. And then after that, put them back inside their enclosure and then do all of these things that I said to keep them warm. Now, personally, where I live, it doesn't really get that cold. Like it gets cold, but it's not like freezing, freezing temperatures. But I still do these things just in case because my hamster is a robo and he's really tiny and you never know what will happen. So I hope that this helped anyone who was, you know, their hamster went to torpor or they're trying to prevent that and keep their hamster warm. Also, we are so close to 190 subscribers. We are only three away. And then after that, we are going to be 10 away from 200. We are so close to our goal. I hope that we can make it to 200 by the end of the year. You guys are so sweet. And I'll see you guys again next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.